the Fort Ripley, population 68. Huge town. Already been through it. Okay, so this is the Mississippi River near Sweetwater, Minnesota. And this is the river here. So I touched the Mississippi River. This is like one of the furthest north, one of the further northern parts of the Mississippi River. That's heading north. I just crossed that bridge to come over here. Oh, 94. This is Minnesota. And Sweetwater, called this town called Sweetwater, Minnesota. That's a bridge I just crossed. But this is the Mississippi River. Look like a neat butterfly. Yeah, that's heading north. And the river doesn't go much further than this. But I'm actually pretty far north of the Mississippi River. We can take a walk out of here. Take that walk. Let's, let's stick it. So we the Black Rock from the Mississippi River. This is the Fort Ripley landing of the Mississippi and the Mississippi River is in the background. This is the historical marker. This was established in 1848. There's a military camp over here. This is a landing here, but this is the Mississippi River from this point. Okay, so this is the landing of the Mississippi River. some gas and get my bearings and see where else I want to go. So that's where I'm at at the moment. This is driving through the town of Brainerd. This is the town where that was featured in that movie uh, Fargo. And I'm looking for the Paul Bunyan uh, statue. I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it's further east. I'm going to this town of Riverton. That'll be the furthest northern point and then I'm turning back. Okay, so this is the Sagamore Mine Lake. It's designated a trout lake. And this is part of the Mississippi River, and it's about as far north as I'm going to go because I get to the back. But this is the lake. You can walk on here in the dock. That's what I'm going to do. This is like a public access lake. It goes up the upper banks of the Mississippi River. And look how clear that lake is. That is some very clear water. Trout live here. I don't see any trout, but I'm sure they're in there if you go fishing. But it's gonna need to be here. This is about the furthest north I'm gonna go on this trip. I'm gonna head on back now. I think it's pretty neat. I just wanted to get back to the of Mississippi River and let's go pick up a rock. So it is that this is the northernmost point. I'm gonna find a rock that's probably not going to be touched. So I'll go over here. Some junk. So let's pick up a rock. And this is a rock. That's a good rock. Here. That rock's still too heavy. So let's get this rock, flat rock. I don't see that. That looks like it might have been a construction rock. So let's put it back in. Good skimming though. Oh, okay, got this rock. This is a small pebble. Easy to clean. I see that's a big rock. Getting my shoes all wet, which is not good. That's a minute my feet all wet. Got this one. That's the rock I got. The Mississippi River. That's north, and this is heading south. That's Wisconsin over there. And this is Minnesota on this side. This is at the Disabled American Veterans Rest Area, uh, just north of Wabasha, Minnesota, and south of Red Wing, Minnesota. Red Wing, Minnesota is that way, and Wabasha, Minnesota is that way. And this is the Mississippi River. It's a very broad river right here. And you can see, it's beginning to get that little mud content that you didn't see up north. Mississippi River. This is actually Lake Pepin. 
I said it was the Mississippi River, but this is actually Lake Pepin. It's supposed to be a geological marker here. And I think that's the marker over there. I'm going to go take a look at it. But this is actually the lake that goes into the Mississippi River. And that's the Mississippi River right there. As you see the lake, and then it turns into the Mississippi River. So that's the interesting thing about that. And I'm going to go look at these little signs here. But I said that was the Mississippi River up north, further north by uh, where I stopped at. But this is actually the Mississippi River. And there's a little island over here, it looks like. So I'm going to head south of some more. Okay, so this is the town of La Pasha. Pasha III, apparently named after an idiot Indian, Labasha's old city hall. And so I'm going to go to the Mississippi River. Small town. And natural opportunities go to see it. Labasha, Minnesota, the southernmost point of my trip. I'm on a boat dock. Back of the dock, and so we'll head on back to Minneapolis. There's a little neat fountain over there, so let's go see what the fountain is doing. Town of Wabasha. This is the southernmost part of my trip. This is Roshan Park in Lake Pepin in the town of Lake City, Minnesota. And there's some ducks. Go ducks, go! The boat ramp here. The public access area of the boat ramp. And this is Lake Pepin, Roshan Park, Lake City. It says Lake City is claimed to be the birthplace of water skiing. And right now I don't see anybody water skiing. I see a bunch of over the boat and, and uh, water, water boats. This is Lake Pepin. Wisconsin over there, people of Wisconsin are having a party too. 